Hi everyone, I'm Richard Hans, your instructor for the Quantitative Methods course. Um, and in this video, short video, I will show you how the new setup works for the individual assignments this year. Um, the reason that I have a short setup video is because this year I'm going to uh, have you generate your own data for the individual assignment where your student number will basically be the source of the data. So every one of you is going to get a unique data set and therefore unique answers to the individual assignments. Uh, if you go to Canvas, you'll find a test assignment, which won't count for your final grade, just purely to test uh, the setup. And there you can find this um, setup test do file. Again, there's other videos showing you know how Stata works and, and what these do files mean and the log files. So those are explained elsewhere. But for the time being, what I want to show you is how this setup works, because that will be the same setup for, for the individual assignments. I won't belabor all the code here, but basically we will want to uh, create a log file that's just good practice in general. And this line here, which you will also find later in the individual assignments when those get posted, is kind of the key, the key line here. So we'll just first run these two lines here just to uh, set up a log file. And then this line here, you'll see set seed and then one through nine. This is just a placeholder number um, just for, for this illustration here. Later, you're going to have to fill in your own six digit student number there. And as you fix this number, um, when we use any sort of function that uses randomness in Stata, um, it will always be replicable. Um, so the randomness in a sense will become fixed. Um, so if we run this line here, this now fixes the random seed for, for Stata with this number one through nine. Um, and just to show you what will then happen if we run later comments or later commands, um, we will first set Stata to say we want to have 1000 observations. That's something which will be pre-specified in the assignments later. So you don't need to touch or edit this line uh, for your assignments. This will just mean Stata will now generate data for 1000 observations. And for this test setup, we're going to generate two variables. You don't need to change anything in this marked section here or here. Um, these are basically the functions that are going to generate these new variables. And if we run these two, you're going to see in the data editor two newly generated variables for the 1000 observations that we set before. And then we can you know, also run commands on these two variables. So in the test setup, you're going to be asked to uh, put in the average for the two variables. I noted the outcomes of those here. And also to calculate the correlation. We'll talk in class about what the average and the correlation means, but just for the time being, I want you to check um, and fill in the statistics that you get when you fill in your own student number. So if I run this one here, I can see for the test var variable, the average is 0 0.8, as also noted here above. For test var 2, it's 9.609, rounded to three digits. And the correlation between these two is 0 0.032, if we round it to three digits. So this is how this basic setup works. So given this unique number, which will be your student number, Stata will generate the data that you will need to use for your, uh, for your individual assignment. And behind the scenes, I'll have a file that will have the correct answers for every possible student number. Just to show you how things change, if I now fill in a different number, uh, I will fill in my own one. It's a five digit number in this case. If I then set the seed to be that, um, and then set the number of observations, generate the two variables again, and then summarize the two, you're going to see that the numbers are different, right? So for me, the average for test var is 0.758. For the other one is 9.431. And the correlation also, of course, will be different. So if I fill in a different seed here, it's going to be a different number. However, if I now turn the seed back to one through nine, you'll see that the statistics are again identical to what they were before. So in this way, I can, I can basically get unique tests for every one of you, hopefully limiting opportunities for you know plagiarism and the likes. Um, but just wanted to show you how this works, given that, of course, if you generate the data in the wrong way, 
uh, all your answers are going to be wrong purely due to not following the uh, instructions properly. Of course, if there's any questions about this setup, uh, there's the test assignment on Canva, so you can see whether your steps indeed were correct. And also feel free to email me at any time. Good luck.